11.32, Sunday, February 2nd, 2020. And nothing's going to happen, ever. Nothing at all. No more people are going to die. Michael Jordan's not on the list to die. He's not the second dead sheep with his tongue sticking out that shows a red bull hanging over as a bull. The first dead sheep, it wasn't Kobe Bryant. The Super Bowl, ain't nothing going to happen. Philadelphia, it's not going to be the second 9-11. There will not be a bomb on Monday, February the 3rd, 2020. Nothing will happen at 8.48 a.m. at 17th and JFK Penn Building Center 8. Nothing will happen at William Penn Building, also at 9.03 a.m. And nothing's going to happen at the Met Building at 9.33 a.m. There won't be darkness over the entire land at the Super Bowl because my channel won't get shut down. My channel's going to stay up the entire time because... I'm a false prophet, and they get they get entertainment out of me. All my false predictions, everything that they set up that I have no idea about that's not going to happen, they're just luring me in with the carrot on the stick. I'm the fool. I'm the one that don't know any better. I gotta go get cleansed because I'm a sinner and I make bad decisions by predicting and giving my opinion towards things. Shouldn't do that. Should not speak your mind, anybody. Yeah, that sounds great. It should not. It has a fart can on it. So, don't, if you have a mind, don't speak it. If you care too much about what people think, then just shut up. Don't say anything, because then they won't have an opinion. It's just, it's all fear porn. They've been saying this stuff forever. I mean, you know, remember when Prince died and he was purple? It's the same thing with LeBron James. He's purple and yellow. I won't worry about it. We're just, everything's going to continue on as it is. Nothing's going to change. All liars are going to continue to lie. And that's just the way it is. Remember, nothing is going to happen. There won't be darkness over the land between the 6th and ninth hour during the Super Bowl. Because when there's darkness, it means that the truth is getting shut down. Someone left a comment. And it went like this. This will be stuck in your head all day long. I won't even say the name of the song because you already know it. The coronavirus has nothing to do with your ability to not see and be deceived. Has nothing all to do with it. <clears throat> the serpent race uh, is time to have sex with women, just like Eve and at and in the Garden of Eden, where the serpent beguiled Eve. This time, Eve is beguiling the serpent. You fooled them once; you can't fool them again. You fooled me once with this first 9-11. You can't fool me again with the second 9-11. Because it's not going to happen. It has nothing to do with anything in Philadelphia. It doesn't have anything to do with it. 
Kobe Bryant being from outskirts of Philly. LeBron James passing him the 2-3 bypass, third all-time in Philly. The day before he died, and all of a sudden, then he passes, he passes away. It's just all coincidence, purely uh, by circumstance. It's just pure luck that it happened that way. Michael Jordan, he's not next on the list because he doesn't stick his tongue out for no reason other than just so he can be known as mocking the mocking tongue. And that way, towards the end, Click can use him as the head of the serpent. Remember, these fallen angels, the bait that Click is using on you guys is to have sex with women, virgins, virgin women. Even though it's not really women, it's not virgins at all, it's just the fact that being used for the first time I know it's gross, but what are you gonna do? It's, it's it's what it is. It's the truth, and I know a lot of people don't like hearing it because, I mean, especially the Kleckites. You guys, you gotta remember, I, you're gonna be Robinites, but you're Kleckites right now. You're Kleckites because of the doubt that you have, and you think that Kleck is all for you when man, oh man, is he, is he, deceiving you guys or what? Just wait. Just wait until you see what he does. You'll remember what I said. And then you'll stand there shameful and angry. Just pissed off like... Fucking <laughs> Robin. He was right. But it's not about being right. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, no, it's all about being right. It's definitely... It's about being right. 100% right, finally. I'll get the prediction right. It'll happen. I said it before. Nothing will happen while my channel is up. Like the second 9-11. It, <coughs> it won't happen because... They... They need me to shut up. While they're doing their events. I don't think they truly expected anybody to figure them out. They really didn't. I know the Bible says like... You know, do you, uh, who's gonna, f who can see us in the dark? Like, who can see what we're doing? They didn't believe anybody can see. And the Kleckites still don't believe because they have, because they're suffering from the coronavirus. I told you, I'm the cure for the coronavirus. I have the cure for this, the coronavirus. It started with Kobe Bryant. Because if you can't see that he's still alive, you're suffering from the coronavirus. It's an eye disease. It's a third eye problem. Your third eye is blind. You can't see that click. Your boss. It's so great what he's doing. I'm telling you, but he got to go. He got to go as soon as... It, when I get shut down my two-week vacation, that I'm probably only going to be able to comment in my own videos or to people, because that's kind of like the... That's the dwindling away between the 6th and the ninth hour. It looks like two strikes are coming in between those hours during the Super Bowl game. Because it, I, I see it as it being 11.48 a.m. February 2nd, 2020. And, uh, and I see the two strikes coming. It happened before, and it's going to happen again. Now, I mean, it could be three in a row, you know. It could be three in a row that... It could just be over by today. But no, I think, I think because they don't truly, they didn't believe that I could see what they're going to do or anybody in, on planet Earth. But it's happening now. It's, it's, it truly is happening at this moment. And it's only going to get even better when you start seeing all these people dying, right? Because I've been telling everybody the entire time, nobody's dying. But, you look at me like I'm insensitive. Well, I'm not insensitive. I'm just not stupid. I'm not stupid like you to fall for it. That all these people are really dying on planet Earth the way that they're doing. And they can just show it to you and just get away with it. I don't, you know, didn't believe it. I still don't believe it. 
And then when the Super Bowl gets blown up and 7,000 people are slain, and then it's just, it's right, it's time for the second 9 11 to happen the very next day in Philadelphia on the third. I'm glad that, I'm glad that I went through this experience with people on YouTube with all types of opinions and demonic spirits that swirling around, like all the Kleckites that are out there, that all the thumbs down, the Kleckites that. You can't do anything else other than thumb down. You don't like the words that are coming out of my mouth because I'm telling you that your boss is turning on you. He's setting you all up. Every last person he is deceiving. But remember this. Satan deceives the entire world. Satan himself. Not, not any human being. Satan. That energy. The creation of things. You know, like the Lord God that formed man from the dust, the second one. Because the first Adam, the first Adam is Kobe Bryant. The second Adam is going to be a quickening spirit. Therefore, the second Adam sounds like it's going to be Donald Trump because he's going to... Because so far, Kobe Bryant hasn't raised himself from the dead in the public eye. But to you guys... I have a feeling he already did. If he, if not today, he's rising up. But I have a feeling he's, he's already been seen by his disciples, because that's the, that's the, the role here. And then Trump, well, he's going to have a quickening spirit where he's going to actually rise up from the dead to the mainstream media after he has a hemorrhage, wounded head, and does live. But it'll be blamed on an attempt assassination uh, attempt and. You know, as he falls from his airplane or something, the rapture happens. So the rapture is happening. The rapture will happen when Donald Trump gets his wounded head. There you go. So as Kleck is deceiving the 200 fallen angels, as he's deceiving the 10 kings that are giving all their money, signing their lives away, promise to have sex with Eve. Who represents Eve? We already know who represents Eve. Do I have to say it? Look, Eve has taken one for the team. I mean, Eve has no problem with what Eve does. Remember that $2 bill? Remember that $2 bill? Kobe's pilot. Just put it together. And I don't have to say... I just do it the way you guys do it. I'm not saying anything about anybody or anything that happened with anybody's preference. But what I am saying is, Bull Mumble Pants, his pilot, he had a $2 bill stuck in that, in that book. And I don't know if anybody's even saying it because, because people are afraid to speak their mind when it comes to truth because you can't. Because everybody's from the inside. You can't speak the truth. You have to hold on to the truth. It's not time yet to reveal everything. So that's what my job is. I can see it from the outside. I can speak the truth. Because I'm not part of you guys. But when it's all over and said and done. Then yeah, there's... There's, there's a... There's going to be some type of like a partnership... Because what I did over these past 1,036 days is I showed you who's in charge, who's doing what, when and where, why and how. When it all finally takes place and it's all seen that it was true, that all the surveillers that have been watching and surveilling and seeing where I come from, you guys will see that this is... This is the end. This is where the Bible is being fulfilled. And then this is and then there's an unwritten season. Once the unwritten season comes around, everybody tells the truth because this was not who knows what's going to happen. That's the greatest part about living today right now is we're getting ready to go through this. I asked for it. Remember that. I asked for this to happen. I want God to get vengeance on the world. But what does God do when he does that? He uses Lucifer. He uses Lucifer to come down and wreak habit on the earth. 
it's what I asked for. Because people need to straighten their asses up. Everybody on planet Earth needs some type of lesson of being doing without. Now, the entire world needs to feel like it's going to end when it's not. That's the... It's brilliant. I'm telling you, it's just a brilliant plan by the Illuminati. The ones that really want to help and change humanity. You know, the... the the ones that actually do care, but you guys got to stop. Like, social media needs to stop. People taking selfies of themselves needs to stop. Worshipping the flesh has to stop. Porn sites have to stop. Lying has to stop. All these things have to stop. So repent now and get off and stop doing it. If you're not doing any good on, on social media and it's about getting attention, look at me, look at me, stop. Or don't. And then you'll just see how it's... It's just worse when you're told something and warned. Again, it's free will. Do what you want. But it's worse when you don't stop. And then you get caught in the act. That's when you feel more shame. If you stop now, think about it. Just think about what you're doing to social media. If you are not helping anybody... but you're seeking attention for the wrong reasons, you need to stop. If you just have a channel and you're a commenter and whatever, I mean, you're looking for truth, that's fine too, but I'm telling you the truth is getting shut down soon, like today. But I've said this, how many times I've been, this, this is my 1,036th day today, February 2nd, since I've been on YouTube, April 2nd, 2017. First video of Bowie, my dog, and then all of a sudden after that, I realized I can upload a video and people actually watch it. I need to start saying something. I'm the one that got tired of seeing all the liars on TV with these events and the spin and stop sign. I mean, that that was enough for me. One, once I got to that point, it's like, my God, man, spin and stop sign. Why would they even show you a spin and stop sign? What's the point? Just to let you know that it's fake. Just like Kobe Bryant's, the guy that his wife was on there that he picked, trying to cry. He has three children to take care of, three, nine, and 11. Right. This is Kobe Bryant. This is a major icon that people worship. And you got this horrible-ass crisis actor that's saying his wife was on Kobe Bryant's helicopter. I told you what's going to happen. You didn't listen. You heard it, but you didn't listen. But that's fine. Do as thou will. Think that Kleck is going to set you guys up into the Garden of Eden. You know what's got a sting? Is that... That's what he told you. You're going to worship... You're going to be over there worshiping... Athletes and superstars. It's going to be the island of superstars. And you guys get to go over there. Because you can't think for yourself... And you're scared. Because you all, all you knew was Jonathan Click as being your commando, gang stalking commando. Stalkers. You guys are stalkers. You need to repent every last one of you is for stalking. But you won't repent until you're standing there in shame when Click turns on you. Click is the one turning on you. He's setting up Kobe Bryant like nothing else. I I almost feel bad for Kobe for being a liar like that, but look, he's still alive. He's alive. See, I can't wait to meet all the superstars either, but it's not like, oh, LeBron, oh my God, I, I'm your biggest fan. It's more like, it's a different approach because the Kleckites, which, which are you guys surveilling, you guys will worship them because it's the worshipping of an idol. It's exactly what your boss is telling you not to do. Kleck is telling you not to worship idols, but he's pushing it for you too, but he's telling you not to. Right after Kobe Bryant died, and he hopped on the 26, he did his video... The 24th, he was so excited because he got Kobe 
he got Kobe, the serpent, to have sex with Eve. Because spiritually, that is allowing the serpent race to enter into Eve to create. It's not like Eve gets pregnant at all. It's just the fact that it's an energy transfer. He got you to do that spiritually. And then literally, you're going to see how it manifests into the world because that's what Kleck needed. He's going to do it again. Michael Jordan's on the list. Because he's the other dead sheep with the tongue sticking out. He's the head of the serpent. This is a riddle of the ages. And it's being solved. I'm solving this riddle that Kleck is putting out there. You guys can't solve it. And you work for him? And you surveil people? And you got all this knowledge and, and, and uh, intelligence with you? You got these devices? And you still can't figure them out? And you're surveilling me? And you see where I go. I, you know, I'm back and forth to work every day. I come home and I hop on my computer. I, I search and find. I just push play on people's videos, and it's just everything that they say is clear, clear as day. So as Click is is the one from the inside that I mean, he had me fooled for a long time, but now I get it. But you got to go, Click. You got to go, but I know you're going to go anyway. When I'm shut down, you got 21 days to do your thing. And then that's it. After that, three days of darkness, it's time to see what happens. The unwritten season is right around the corner. For those that believe, for those that don't, whatever, stand in shame. It's all it is. It's just a shameful feeling. I, I just, I don't even want you to feel shameful, really. I want you to turn and repent. And just admit what you're doing is wrong, but you just can't because God sent a strong ass delusion so you would believe the lie. This is the lie. It started 2616, down dynasty, January 26, when Kobe Bryant's airplane ascended up to heaven, got 2300 feet, and just went. Shoo. That image, and those sounds, the Bose system, and the smoke and mirrors got you guys believing the damn lie. Whatever. Believe it. I don't care. I don't care if you believe it or not. What I do care about is making sure that I did my best research to find out exactly what you guys are doing behind the scenes. So when Kleck turns on you, when you're there, because here's the thing, he told you guys this. He told Kobe Bryant this. He told Michael Jack. I mean, yeah, he's over there already. Michael Jordan. He told LeBron James. He he told everybody. He told Donald Trump. He, all these people he told has given them the promise to sign over their life and all their money. Because look, here's what here's what he's doing. He's getting everybody to see what they're about. What are you guys truly about? Are you scared? Are you a cleckite? Are you still scared? Of course you are. Are you Kobe Bryant and, and Adam? Are you the the fallen? Is Kleck telling you guys that you're, you're the serpent race and you guys are the fallen angels and all you got to do is have sex with naked women when it doesn't really mean actual phys physical... It doesn't mean a woman, period. It doesn't mean an actual uh, flesh body. Except for Eve's body, of course. But spiritually, it means that you are giving your power over to the beast fully through a sexual act, spiritually. Everybody that wants to rule the world, over here. Come on, come on. Come on, all you billionaire sports athletes. Come on. Yep, you can rule. You, you will rule the world, but first you have to sign away your life. Play dead. I, the Lord God, will put a deep sleep on you that way... I will rise, raise you from the dead and people will worship you as a bigger God than what you already are, Kobe Bryant. You're already being worshipped as a God by the seven billion. Now you can be worshipped as a risen from the dead God. Oh man, it's such a great scheme, I'm telling you. So he, gets, he has all those people, that's one group. Then he got the, he, then he got all the Kleckites that are promised to worship 
all those sports stars, Hollywood star athletes and everything in the Garden of Eden. I'm not sure where it is. I just assume it's like around the perimeter of the Earth, Antarctica, called the Garden of Eden. Either way, it's somewhere here uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful place that I can't wait to visit without having to worship anybody. I just show up and, you know, like, hey, look, my condolences. It's okay. I mean, you know, how did you, you didn't know any better. It's fine. Nobody got hurt. And nobody died, and that's the whole point. And you and you guys get to learn a lesson because of it, and the entire world gets to learn a lesson because of it too. That's so awesome. But it's what you were being told from the beginning. None of these people are dying. Do you Kleckites really know that nobody's dying? I don't think all of you know. And do you, any of you believe that your own boss is going to turn against you? I'm pretty sure some of you have already repented. But there's a there's a majority of you that just have not. As a matter of fact, maybe none of you have because the wicked shall do wicked and none of the wicked shall understand. None of you shall understand. So the entire world is deceived by the by the by Satan. The entire world It's his way of separating the wheat from the tares. People like us who we're just gonna go through the fire. We're just gonna we're gonna get thrown into the lions then. See the ones that already know, you know those um the oh yeah, it's the hundred and twenty. That's why it showed that's why Clex talking about the hundred and twenty, the number, and that's why that helicopter was shown in LA, the cop helicopter one hundred twenty. Because it, it'll please Darius to set over him 120 princes. But those 120 Kleckites, they can see that... They know that Robin is favored highly. Highly favored. You can tell. You can tell and you hate it. But you guys know that I'm getting shut down as well. You guys already know that. And you're like, I can't wait. I can't, you make me so sick. I hate your guts. But when your boss turns against you... What are you going to do then? Because I told you he's going to turn against you. And remember, you hated me. Remember that. Because I'm going to remember it. What? You want what? Forgiveness? Tch, you hate me. All right, it's fine. I forgive you. I already forgive you anyway for hating me. Because you don't know what you're doing. So, Lord, please forgive them, for they know not what they do. They're blinded by the coronavirus. I, corona. Peace on earth. You know how it happens? It happens with me telling you what's going to happen before it does. And then it follows through. It happens. With your doubt and hatred and anger towards me. Because who are you, Robin? Just a regular human being on planet earth. Picking apart the world's script. Doing my studying. All my works follow me. I have a full-time job, too. I probably work more hours than you guys do. But at the same time, I still do research. And I know exactly what Kleck's talking about now. Just go back to the video of From Adam to the Locust. It's, it, now that you know that he's talking about Kobe Bryant as Adam, the first man that he's forming from the dust because he's going to form him up and raise him from the dead. And you guys are going to worship him. The ones that don't even believe that he died. I mean, don't believe that he's still alive. You guys actually, the Kleckites, okay? Every Kleckite believes that Kobe Bryant is dead. That's why I get these. But hey, Fonzie, he's alive. I'm giving you good information. I'm giving you the truth. He's alive and all the other ones are still going to be alive that, that are pronounced, pronounced dead. It's good news. It's good news. Your boss is going to turn against you. <laughs> you know, it's good news because they're looking to put me in charge of you guys. But because you know my channel is going to get shut down, because you know that there's going to be destruction in America because you guys are thoroughly loving this and you don't care if people die. You guys don't give a shit about us dying because you were promised to go to the land of Oz, which is the land of Eden. It's an illusion. Cleck is telling you, man. I'm just giving you the heads up what he's really saying. The 
levels of positioning. When you're on this side over here, you get the highest level of position in the kingdom of God.